Everybody's warming up right now. There you go. All right, as you can see, this workout this morning is one that uh, the whole family can do. So we got the little guys involved here as well. And I don't know if you can see on our table here, but we have a Candyland board game set up. So uh, this is uh, a, a game where uh, if you have the board game at home, you can do the same same kind of workouts rather than just sitting there on the couch playing the game you can actually get up and be active and get a little exercise at the same time so like I said you can get everybody involved with this one um, given that you have enough players if you don't have enough uh, pieces for everybody then you have teams so, like, so we'll have uh, over here we'll have these two guys as a team and then here in the middle we'll have Tanya and Casey will be a team and then over here we got Bodie and Tirza are going to be a team uh, uh, so since Mike has got the blue shirt on, we're gonna Mike's team be the blue. And since Tiny's got the red shirt, well, he's got red shirt there too. Oh boy. Oh, oh, oh yellow. Oh, yellow. yellow. Casey's got yellow. And then tears up. She's kind of like pinkish. So we'll, how about other you play? You want red or green red? Okay, so she wants red. All right. So uh, how this workout works uh, is we will flip a card. So if you haven't played Candyland before, you got all these little cool cards. Let me get them here. You can see we got all the different color spaces and you know all this here. All right. So if it has one color or two color spaces, you move two spaces. If you have one, you move one space. Well, actually, I think you move. It's not spaces. It's you move to the color, right? Color. You move to the color, so it's not a space, but. Two colors, gotcha. All right, and then there's a few there's a few spaces on the board uh, that are um, uh, different. So they have like uh, you know the peppermint candy or the Granny's Nut House or Nana's Nut House, and so on. Um, and the exercises that correspond to the colors are up on the board behind Tanya. I don't know if you guys can see those or not, but real quickly I'll tell you what uh, we'll need for equipment for this workout. So you can start gathering that right now. Uh, we, we're gonna need some dumbbells for like, thinks a pair of dumbbells you can do like um, uh, bicep curls with, right? Uh, you can also do a band. So if you're standing on a band with one foot, you can do your band bicep curls here. Uh, tricep extensions, we could also use the band and dumbbell for, so that's that behind the head, extending overhead. Um, we have uh, dumbbells, light dumbbells, where we can do like side delt raises. Um, there is a potential for uh, burpees and mountain climbers, so that means that if you have a chair uh, that you'd want to use, uh, or some risers, you could have those. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, uh, if we, do, we do have a potential for some exercises on the ground, like some crunch type exercises. So if you want to uh, have a mat to lay down on for, for those exercises, you could. Uh, however, we'll also have some uh, modifications. So if uh, you don't want to do a laying on the ground version, uh, we could do a um, modified version, a standing up version of that exercise. All right, so uh, we're gonna get started. Now how this works is uh, we're gonna take turns going through drawing drawing our, or flipping over our card. We'll see what the color is. Color corresponds to an exercise. Everybody has gotta complete that exercise before the next team can go. First team to make it to uh, the end, which is what, King Candy's Castle, uh, wins. All right, at which point we get a rest break. Now there will be little rest breaks incorporated in as well between uh, exercises. So uh, each exercise is 40 seconds long. 
and then there is a 20 second rest break to give us time to flip uh, another card. And I guess Casey's gonna do his uh, first one. All right, so how about we let here's his team go first. All right, Tirza rolled uh, purple, and purple is jumping jacks, jumping jacks. So we got jumping jacks for 40 seconds, go. Jumping jacks. Remember, you can do that heel kick option if you need a low impact option for jumping jacks. Five seconds. All right, and rest. All right, so we're gonna go this way. So it's Casey, your turn. Oh, your mommy get to go. Right here. Right here. Card. Flip it over. Purple. Oh, right there. Thank you. All right, so you can go to purple. All right, so we got jumping jacks again. And go, jumping jacks again. Good job, Kays. You got 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Remember, if you get tired of that bouncy version, you can jump into that. Stand up to the ceiling. All right, everybody ready? Go! Oh, yeah. 
can't rest. Casey said he's hot. It's not hard. All right, Casey's turn to draw here. We're both in that. That's the worst spot. All right, good job, Casey. You got blue. 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 Oh, Blue. 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 Trainer's Slide choice. Let's go to Slide bicep up. curls. Bicep curls. So grab those this dumbbells. Time. This time we're gonna get two, so one in each hand. Remember, you can also stand on a band and do band bicep curls. Everybody get ready. Three, two, one, and go. Bicep curls. Both time, same time. Five seconds here. Good, and rest. All right. Is it two? Five. No, three. Three? I thought they were coming. All right, two, three, you're up. All right, orange, two orange. One, go. Two, orange. Orange is high knees. High knees. High knees, so. Just, just, like, just like this. High knees or just one? Right. Just one step. Are you ready? Go. 40 seconds. Pick it up a little bit. Ten seconds, a little faster. Almost there. No. And rest. All right. Red. All right. Red. Red is mountain climbers again. Mountain climbers. In three. Two, one, and go. So again, remember you can do those mountain climbers with your hands on a chair. You can do mountain climbers on the floor. You could also substitute if you need to do a standing version, do high knees instead. So remember, the, the more you tip forward, the more you're gonna get your abs involved, the more core involved, the harder the exercise. So the taller you are, the easier the exercise. So if you wanna make this more challenging, just lean forward a little bit, get your hands on that chair. 10 seconds to go. Try to see if you can go all the way through. And rest. Fifteen seconds. Fifteen seconds. And rest. Yellow. All right, yellow is ice skaters. Ice skaters. Only one foot touches the ground at a time, side to side. In three, two, one, and go. Now 
I remember if you need a low impact option, yeah, we didn't say what we you can do a step yeah. side to side rather than a jump. Yeah, I said it. Yeah. Same thing. Fifteen seconds here. Seconds here. 
Seconds here. <laughs> you gotta move your feet. <laughs> and wraps. Alright, go back to team one.
Remember again, if you need to modify, you can do these on a chair or high knees. Grab your dumbbells. Wait. Uh, uh, just a moderate weight, not super heavy. We're gonna do a squat press. So we're gonna start in the rack position here. Squat down, press up overhead. Everybody ready? No. So, if you don't have uh, dumbbells, you can do this with just body weight. Just that squat, that press overhead. seconds. Red. 
seconds here. Candyland rules. If you land on an occupied space, move to the next space the same color. Ten seconds here on fast feet. Crunch, we're laying on our back, or we can do time or demonstrate the same as yours. So, laying on our back, our hands are wide, feet are wide. You guys want to go ahead and get down? X crunch, feet up in the air. Hayes, lay down over here and do X crunch. Hands in the air, everybody ready? Go. You're going to reach that opposite arm or right arm to left foot, trying to go up toward your shins. This should be a crunch, not a sit up. So try not to come up on your tailbone. You can see Tanya is doing that standing version. So you bring that knee up toward your elbow, pull your belly button in the top of it. There you go, Hayes. Crunch up, bring your head up. There you go, so like that. Yeah. 15 seconds here. I've heard while you're on a hard bottom. 
rocks. There you go, man. Five seconds, here. Five seconds here. And rocks. All right, who's up? Jumping jacks. We got five seconds to rest still. Three, two, one, and go. Jumping jacks.
in his eye. Look how close we are. We went after you. Option do a step rather than a jump. Wait. Twenty seconds. Stop. 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 Stop.
Yeah. Who are we won? No, we yeah. won. Yes, we're just holding no. on. They won. Yeah, because they got stuck here. Yeah, you guys lost the They skipped us. No, it's too red. Yeah, they just went too red. Yeah, but they don't skip ours. They go one, two. They were. They were? Yeah. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, green. Yeah, they, if they land on us, then they oh, go to the next one. If you land on us, then you go to the next Look, one. Yeah, Not you don't just go. Maybe. You don't just skip, skip that as counting. Right? You go to the next yeah. color of the same yeah. color. Oh, okay. So she got two. Way. She was here. Yeah, and she doesn't just skip like, that one and go one two. Oh, she goes okay. one two, right? Wait, okay, so goes now. It's ours. Okay, but whoever it is, pick it. We win. Are you kidding me? This game was rigged. I told you. Now that Zeke, and you can tell Zeke does not care about winning at all. Yeah. <laughs> I need to work out. We just did the workout. All right, we're going to get ready to stretch. And... And like usual, while we, while we, uh, while we stretch, uh, we'll do a little... Do you have a timer going yeah. right here? Okay, Tanya's got the timer. So I'll let you guys uh, uh, follow Ta Tanya with the timer in the back here. And while she's uh, stretching, uh, I'm going to do a little spiel about... Um, uh, uh, not, today we're not going to do a nutrition lesson. We're going to do a little talk about exercise because what we did in this workout today is a great example of uh, a challenge that I think many families have. Uh, and not, not just many families, but many individuals with getting, you know, enough activity in the week and finding ways of getting the kids moving and exercising. So I want to talk a little bit about what, you know, what you saw happen here today and some of the things that are, uh, that are really important for when you are trying to get your kids active, especially little kids, um, if, if they're not uh, spending a lot of time outdoors. Ideally, you know, it's great if they have time to run around and play outside. Kids love to be moving around. As you watched uh, little Casey here, he, he did his version of the exercises. But one of the biggest things that is um, a huge influence for kids in exercise is what they see you doing. So you notice that if you, watch, if you were to watch this video again, there's a point, I remember at one point, I look over and I see Casey doing this and he looks here and he looks here and he's looking here and he's just looking around and seeing what everybody's doing. And what he does is he wants to join in because he sees everybody else. He sees his brothers, his sister, and so he wants, to, he wants to join in, but he gets tired, right? And so then he wants to move on, or he gets bored, and he wants to move on to something else. So a big part of keeping uh, activity high is also making it fun, making it engaging, making it challenging, uh, making it a game. And you saw this happen just naturally with little kids. So at one point, uh, he starts getting in competition with tears up. Uh, you know, he... He uh, also wanted to do things that were um, uh, spontaneous or his own. So we went, it wasn't like we were trying to force him to do the exercises exactly the same. And you see the same thing when it comes to exercise in groups and with people. Not, not everyone wants to come in and always have to do things exactly the same way as everyone else. They want to have a little bit of um, autonomy and the ability to you know, do their version and do it their way and maybe even do something a little bit different. And you can see that, uh, you know, with, with, as long as he's moving and he's not doing anything too dangerous, then, you know, we're just happy he's moving. And so uh, uh, that makes it more of a pleasurable experience for him as well. And you remember, the key is to get moving and to move in a way that's not going to be, you know, hurting yourself. So um, making it a game, making it competitive, having a degree of autonomy, um, having some competition. And when it comes to competition, there, there are people I know who will tell me, they'll say, well, I'm not a very competitive person. I, I don't know, I'm not really into competition. But it's funny because we take those same people and we get them in a group dynamic. They're working out in a group here. And all of a sudden, all of this competition starts coming out of them. Uh, it's almost like they can't help it. When you're, when you're around people who are um, working hard or are working harder than you, or who are um, doing something that you're like, wow, I want to be able to do that, or I, maybe I, I think I can do that. Um, it can be inspiration, inspiring and motivating to help you to push harder. Uh, so, so sometimes that group dynamic just draws out a bit more energy and uh, it gets you moving a bit you know, harder and subsequently you know, get better results in many respects. When it, when it also comes to exercise, I think it's important to realize that one of the biggest reasons a lot of us find it hard to exercise, especially if, if you're one of those people who find it hard to exercise on your own at home, 
uh, I, I know myself that this can be challenging because uh, groups, group training, there's just something about that dynamic of working out with other people that just makes it more fun, makes it more engaging, uh, makes it more, um, you know, you're going to work harder. And I think that has to do with the fact that, you know, growing up for, uh, or, you know, as, as humankind growing up, I mean, thousands of years, if you think about it, as we've, as we've lived on this earth, the vast majority of the exercise we got was related to um, uh, procuring food, building shelter, gathering firewood. It was physical work, growing food. And then another big part of that came from play. So there were times that we, you know, especially you see this in young children, the body just wants to move. Play, you see even in animals. Animals play, we even know now why, part of why they play. They play, part of the reason they play is it's practice for real life. You know, lions and wolves and dogs, all these animals, they, they, they horse around and they fight and, and tussle with each other because they're preparing for the day where they will actually have to do these things in real life. Another part of physical activity, uh, which is, is important, it's, it's one that's often not mentioned a lot by a lot of others, um, but it is important, is um, animals also move a lot in order to attract other uh, um, uh, mates. So you look at the peacock that's you know, strutting its feathers and the, you know, the, the birds that are dancing around. You, you've seen some pretty, uh, if you look, watch National Geographic, you see some pretty wild uh, uh, antics. These animals will go through all sorts of crazy dances and they're bright colored feathers, especially with the birds. And what they're trying to do is to advertise and say, hey, look at me, I'm healthy. I'm fit. Look at the things I can do. Look how, look how beautiful I am. Look how good, a good of shape uh, I am. And this is what they're doing in order to try to attract a mate. And this same sort of chemistry or biology or psychology, whatever way you want to look at it, is hardwired into the brains of all, all people as well. We, we can't help it when we go around, the clothes we wear, uh, the way we, we, like to, we, we like to feel good about ourselves. We want to feel like we're in good shape. We want to feel attractive. And in that group dynamic, even if you're not conscious of it, that part of you gets drawn out and it makes you work harder and you want to be healthy and want to be in good shape. And so all of these are just, just to you know, highlight why working out in a group and working out with other people can be so important for, for helping us to you know, stay on our goals and also to make sure that you know, the type of workouts that you do uh, do include those elements of autonomy, competition, play, you know, having fun. Um, these are all going to be important for uh, exercise sustainability. Hope you enjoyed this uh, family Candyland workout and look forward to seeing you guys again in the future. See you later.